My promise to you is that by the end of this video, you'll have everything that you need to know to pass the CompTIA Security Plus exam and become Security Plus certified. We're gonna cover why you need the certification, the benefits of the Security Plus for a GovTech career, what you should do to prepare for the certification, where to find practice exams, how to register for the exam, and what you should do after you pass the exam. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Simone B, and I've been in the GovTech industry for over 15 years, and I've helped hundreds of other people get the Security Plus certification and pass it on the first try so you can get into the GovTech industry just like I did. So if you're not familiar with the CompTIA Security Plus certification, this certification is the ground level for starting off your cybersecurity career. Now, it is not extremely hands-on or anything like that, but it does cover a lot of information. I always like to say that the Security Plus certification is a mile wide and an inch deep. So there's a lot of different topics in a lot of different domains that are covered inside of this exam. The Security 701 exam has changed up a bit from the Security 601 exam with the main focus being on security operations and incident response. That now makes up about 20% of the exam and the rest of the exam that changed was literally just name changes based off of the domain names. So everything else is pretty much the same as the 601 exam. I think it's a great thing that CompTIA decided to focus on more of the security operational tasks that a SOC analyst would do or entry-level cybersecurity analysts would do in their day-to-day -day roles when they're working in cybersecurity. This is great because it allows you to have a little bit more hands-on knowledge even though it's not a hands-on test. It gives you more industry knowledge so then that way when you go into your interviews you at least do understand what a SOC analyst does and what you should be doing in a SOC. And if you are familiar with what a SOC is, a SOC is a security operations center so when you're first starting out in your cybersecurity career, most likely you'll be working in a SOC. So you definitely want to get very familiar with the day-to-day -day task and the knowledge that you need to become an entry-level cybersecurity professional. The reason why the Security Plus is so important and how it opens up so many doors for you is because it is an industry standard for the government technology industry, which is also known as GovTech. In GovTech, the government has a lot of different baselines and a lot of different requirements that everybody has to meet and there's no way to get around them. So the government has a baseline set of certification when it comes to information assurance, also known as cybersecurity now. When it comes to getting into GovTech, if you want to have root access or administrative access to the government systems, you need to have at least the CompTIA Security Plus certification because that way the government feels as if everybody has the same baseline knowledge when it comes to security and securing their systems. The Security Plus certification can add so much value to your career. For me, the Security Plus certification is what allowed me to double my tech salary, going from $72,000 a year to $140,000 a year because it opened up so many different job roles to me. So if you've been applying to GovTech roles or you take a look at any of the job descriptions, you might see something that says you must be DOD IAT level two certified. And basically all that means is the Security Plus. There are other certifications that are listed in this classification as well, but a lot of job descriptions were specifically called out for the Security Plus, so you might as well get it. In the GovTech industry, they are pretty much making everybody get the Security Plus certification. Whether you're a project manager, you're a software engineer, you're a cybersecurity professional, you're a help desk professional, so it's in your best interest to just knock it out now so that way you can get your foot in the door and open up a lot more job opportunities to you when you start applying to different cybersecurity roles. Typically, when it comes to the CompTIA Security Plus certification, I don't recommend that you go into it if you don't have any foundational IT background knowledge. So if you wanna learn these foundational IT skills, you can learn them right on YouTube or you can buy a book that covers the IT skills. So you can look at the CompTIA ITF Plus certification, which is the IT foundation certifications. You can look at the CompTIA A Plus information. I do not recommend people to take the CompTIA A Plus certification just because the amount of time and the money that it costs to get the certification. Something that a lot of people get very confused with when it comes to knowledge and trying to break into a new industry is that they think that you have to get a certification to prove that you have certain technical knowledge and that's just not the case. When you go into your job interviews, the job interviewer will ask you questions to see what your background is when it comes to the role that you're applying for. So you don't need a certification. There are many people that 
that work in the IT field that have no certifications whatsoever. So don't think that you have to get a certification just to prove that you have the knowledge. You should only be getting certifications if it's required for the job. If it's not required for the job, you might be wasting your money unless you decide that, you know what, I wanna go for this certification because I want the knowledge. This is something that I wanna go after, but don't spend your time chasing a million different certifications thinking that's what's gonna land you the job. If you're looking at different job descriptions and you don't see the certifications that you're studying for, or you don't see the certifications that you paid for on them, then don't get it. I'm telling you, save yourself some time because you want to try to break into whatever tech industry very quickly. So spend at least a month learning the basic skills when it comes to computers, software, networking, hardware. Also learn about virtual machines and learn about virtualization. And you can learn a little bit about cloud as well. And then you'll start to learn more about the basics of security. And once you start doing that, that's when you can start to make that transition into the Security Plus certification information. So now that I've covered all of the background about the Security Plus, what things you need to know before you get started, now let's talk about what you need to do to prepare for the exam. So like I said before, make sure you have that foundational IT knowledge or it will be challenging to get started with the Security Plus. Once you get that foundational IT knowledge, start studying for the Security Plus. I like to use the Get Certified Get Ahead book. The Get Certified Get Ahead book is what helped me pass the certification and it's literally all that you need. When it comes to learning the information, that book covers everything that you need to know. It's broken down in a way that pretty much anybody can understand it. And there are quizzes at the end of every single chapter. So that way that you can assess yourself and assess the knowledge that you're learning along the way. While you're going through the book, you wanna make sure that you are taking notes. I prefer handwritten notes, but you can always use a tablet or anything like that to take your notes as well, or you can type on the computer. You should also be writing flashcards and highlighting different keywords and different topics that you're learning because this way it will allow you to reinforce the learning that you're doing and it's going to allow you to memorize the information better. So while you're doing this highlighting, you can highlight in the real book or if you're using Kindle, they have the highlight tool there as well. And when it comes to the acronyms, you should be making flashcards as well because these flashcards, they're going to help you really reinforce and there are tons of acronyms in the CompTIA Security Plus certification, really any CompTIA certification that you take. So you wanna make sure that you understand the acronyms by utilizing flashcards. So you can write handmade flashcards, or if you want, you can use Quizlet. Quizlet has free flashcards on there, so you can use those to learn the different acronyms and the different definitions while you're going through the Security Plus certification. I even have my own Security Plus guide, practice questions, flashcards, and certification prep guide guide as well. If you want to learn how to use my guide and everything that I have, just click the first link in the description below and that will get you started. Before you get started with studying for the Security Plus certification, I strongly recommend that you create a study plan. So it takes most people about three months to study and pass the Security Plus. If you want to actually learn the information, you can pass it faster, but most people that are doing it faster with no knowledge at all, you probably did not learn that much and you probably just cram and you don't want to get exposed in the interviews. You never want to go into a technical interview not knowing the basics. So make sure that you're really spending your time on the foundation and spending your time learning the basics and everything that is in the CompTIA Security Plus certification because it's fair game during an interview for somebody to ask you a simple security type of question. So if you want to take the CompTIA Security Plus exam, the first thing that you need to do is buy your Security Plus exam voucher. You buy this Security Plus exam voucher from the official CompTIA website. So first you need to go to store.comptia.org, click on certification vouchers, and then click on Security Plus. Then you want to find your Security Plus exam SY0-701 exam voucher. The current price for the CompTIA Security Plus is $404. So you add this to your cart, and then once you check out, this voucher will be valid for 12 months. So after you have your voucher and you study for your Security Plus exam, to go and schedule your exam, you want to then go to the Pearson View website. So it's easier to just Google it. If you Google Pearson View CompTIA, it will take you to this website and you can log in using your CompTIA login. And once you log in, you'll click on schedule an exam. 
and then you'll have all of the different CompT exams that will come up find security plus and then select security plus 701 once you select that it's pretty straightforward walking through the steps put in all your personal information then they're going to ask you if you have your security plus exam voucher number this was going to be emailed to you from comptia put in that comptia security plus voucher number once you select the security plus 701 then it's going to ask you if you want to take the exam online or in person i highly recommend you take it in person but select whichever option you choose to do and then you'll put in your comptia security plus voucher number and then you'll check out and now you have your exam scheduled when it comes to studying for certifications i believe that when you first start you should spend 80 percent of your time reading the book studying flashcards and then 20% of your time doing quizzes. When you get closer to your exam date, you should switch that and you should spend 80% of your time doing practice exams and then 20% of your time reading any of your weak areas while you're going through the practice exams. I highly recommend that you spend at least one hour per day if you want to pass a Security Plus certification. The more hours that you can study, the better. So you need to make sure that you're carving out time to study for this certification because if you don't carve out the time, trust me it won't happen I've seen people that study for the security plus certification for years you really just need to lock in and focus and that way you can actually study prepare and learn the information and get it done quickly while you're going through your studies you can use the practice exams to gauge where you are I recommend that you use the get certified get ahead quizzes and then if you want a full comprehensive practice exam professor message practice exams are written similarly to the official CompTIA test so you can use that there's also pocket prep as well i will tell you that pocket prep is not nearly as challenging as the real certification exam so if you only use pocket prep you might score lower on the real exam so just make sure you keep that in mind based off of which practice exams you're using because if it's too easy you need to be scoring at least a 90 percent before you decide to sit for the exam the day before the security plus certification you should be doing as many practice tests as possible Possible. Crank out as many practice tests as you can and in your weak areas that you're really struggling with, make sure that you go back and read and really focus on those domain areas so that way you'll be stronger when you go into the exam. I also recommend that when people go to schedule the exam that you actually go and take it in person because when you take the exam in person, you are able to use a piece of paper and when you take it online, they don't let you use a piece of paper. This piece of paper can be used to brain dump every everything that you need to know while you're going through the exam. So if you go through and you brain dump those acronyms that you might struggle with, or you brain dump those concepts that you sometimes get confused or the different cybersecurity attacks and threats that you get confused. And that way you don't need to focus on which acronym goes with what and which port number goes to which IP protocol. So that way you can focus more on the exam and get done faster. You wanna take as much stress off of your plate while you are taking the Security Plus certification. The less things that you need to worry about, the better you will perform. Another test taking tip that I recommend as well is that you answer all the questions that you already know and any of the questions that you're struggling with, flag them and then come back later for review. If you do this, it will allow you to keep flowing through the exam. It will allow you to keep your confidence and it will allow you to come back to those questions, spend more time on them at the end. And that's where you really want to focus and use process elimination if you're not sure what the answer might be. When you are going in to take the exam day of I do not recommend that you eat a heavy breakfast make sure that you eat very light don't sit up and try to cram and study all night trust me that's how you fail exams it never works out so just make sure you prepare enough in exam get a good night rest eat a good balanced breakfast wake up early and then go into the exam very refreshed if anything just review those keywords or review any type of final hour guide before you go into the security plan plus certification and you will do well and pass that security plus certification exam. And that's exactly how to pass the CompTIA security plus exam on your first try.
try. Hopefully this video has given you everything that you need to know to pass your Security Plus certification on the first try and be able to start looking at these different GovTech roles so you can start your GovTech career. And now that you have your Security Plus certification, now what? Are you ready to get started to work in your GovTech career or are you not ready yet? Some things that you need to do before you get started in your GovTech career, get your resume right, get your LinkedIn right, find the right position, find the different roles that are sponsoring clearances for you, prepare for the different interviews and make sure that you're able to come in job ready to the job. So that way that the hiring managers will want to bring you onto their team. There's so many different things that you need to do to get ready to land your first GovTech job. So if you want me to help you get your first GovTech job and pass your Security Plus certification using my resources, just like I've helped hundreds of other people do, make sure you click the link in the description. It'll show you exactly how you can start working with me. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you on the next one.